Migration is a time of a lot of mortality for these birds that are flying thousands of miles. These stopover habitats are really critical for them. Husque Isle, where we are now, is a heavily used by migrating songbirds, land birds. Because they're in, on the northward migration, they encounter this large lake, which is an obstacle for them. They fly at night, they descend at dawn looking for a place to spend the day, and in a place like Presque Isle, which sticks out into the lake, that's where we get an unusual concentration of these birds because it's the nearest land for them when they're coming down and so on. And they've got to refuel, and so the quality of the habitat is really critical for them. The nets are very soft, pliable. The birds are in them a short time. We get them out. We process as fast as we can, but this gives us a view into their world and what they are doing and where they're going. We learn a lot just by examining the bird, weighing it, and measuring it. And the intent of the band itself, which is like a bracelet on the leg, so if we recapture the same bird the next year, then we know where it was, when, and how old it is also. We study how to age them, sex them in the hand, how to look at the feathers. Can't tell whether it's six versus seven years old, but we can tell whether it's one versus two years old. And the recapturing tells us more about how long these birds can live, and it's surprising. We recapture birds all the time that are from six years ago or eight years ago. We owe a lot of what we know about them to standing through the years. So the next phase of the research is what I'm starting this year. So I have some transmitters that are a third of a gram and that can go on birds as small as 10 grams, which is some of these warblers. And my plan is to put them on magnolia warblers, black pole warblers, and swainson structures. They emit frequency that can be picked up by a red counter receiver. And we do have one at the Tom Ridge Center now, and there's a whole slew of them in Ontario right across the lake. And so these little transmitters will let us find out how long the birds are staying at Presque Isle. So I'm trying to find out where they're going within Presque Isle, but we'll definitely know when they leave Presque Isle. And this is important because if they are, for example, jumping on and off Presque Isle, using some of the coastal habitat that's uh, along the bluffs and along the lake shore, near Presque Isle. Uh, we want to be able to work with whoever those landowners there so that they understand how important that habitat is to these birds. And they may not even realize that they're hosting all these really neat migrant birds. And we want to make sure that they know they're there and that if possible we can improve the quality of that habitat so that it supports more warblers. Lots of people are members of Audubon and may not realize how much research and this type of work we do, conservation programs, trying to really protect these birds.